inverse node. You have int now read on inverse node and act now read on inverse node. But right now you just remember this or just a regular implicit read. Okay? And uh, so that's that's all. And uh, so we have a compare, we have we use the equivalence theory, okay? Equivalence means different cash flows, they have uh, actually the same value at some top. And remember, if two cash flow, two cash flows are equivalent, okay? Just like A cash flow and uh, Cash flow if they are equivalent, that means if A is equal to B, okay, the value at some point is they are equivalent. That means they are equivalent at any time. Okay? This this word or this sentence or this statement is very useful in future. Okay. If two cash flows are equivalent, they are equivalent at any time. Okay, so we uh, derive the formulas and uh, we compare actually the uh, cash flows, how to uh, do the cash flows, and uh, we have several examples, and uh, we have uh, aggregate all the cash flows into one, okay? At some time, we shall use last time, I think we shall uh, derive this, okay? Or we shall use this one as we actually aggregate multiple cash flows into one form, right? It can be any form, can be two, can be one, can be zero, can be four, can be five. We can derive, we can actually use all of the the, of course, the values will be different, okay? And the power will be different. Okay, so, maybe the quiz will be, the quiz will be similar question, okay? And uh, so, um, just to derive something and uh, into one form, um, different form, okay? And uh, I will group you guys and uh, all the blackboards and uh, let you know next Tuesday, okay? And uh, then, last time we saw here, we compare two different cash flows and actually a has multiple and B has multiple. Okay? A has two cash flow and B has two cash flow. We just assume they are equivalent. Okay? If they are equivalent. We said if they are equivalent, they will be equivalent at any time. Okay? Then first, since they are equivalent at any time, that means that means they are equal at time zero if I aggregate all the cash flows into zero. If I aggregate all these cash flows into zero, these two values should be the same. Okay? And the same thing, if I aggregate this and this into y this and this into one, this should be equal, okay? And a two and a three. So here, we want to select the base theory to use the A equal to two. We want to aggregate all the color flows at a two. Okay? And then, we know B, we know F, we know I, we know A. Then let's see for A. How we how we after aggregate this cash flow into two. First, we actually calculate the future value of this because relative to zero, this value, okay, the value at least 
will be the future values of this, right? Then it will be equal to will be equal to F zero equal to how much? Five hundred times what? One plus ten percent. Then what's the power? What's the power? I will calculate the future work of this as two. What's the power here? Will be how much? One thousand. One thousand divided by one plus ten percent. What's the power? What's the power? Negative one. Negative one. Here, 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 here. In this formula. by yourself. I don't want to calculate to spend too much time. Okay? I just want to tell you the, the logic. And uh, also the immediate assignments are both on your, are focused on your logic. Okay? If you have used the right formulas, if you have used uh, the right reasoning. And then for B, For cash flow B, we have two cash flows, right? And uh, we want to move this to two, right? C. If you have a question, let me know, okay? So it's, so for the left one, for this way, so the value at the two should be its future one, right? because right now C is at one. I want to calculate its value at two. So it should be its future work, correct? Then, future work from one to two equal to C, okay? Right now we don't know C. Okay, we just put C there. Then one plus 10%, then one power. Right? And then the present value, okay, two to two. I just, uh, I use that uh, to represent. I want to actually calculate the value of this, okay, at this year. So it will be the original, right? C. And then for B, we plus this together. Okay, then you get the value for this, right? And uh, you get the value for this. This we still have C, correct? Actually is how much C? I put two point one C, right? So 
They are equivalent to each other. They are equivalent to each other means they are equal. So that means two times one z equal to one five one four. Z equal to how much? So here z equal to seven. That means, that means, if you, it's like in our daily life, if you like, yes. How do you get uh, one five one four to the first one? So, for the first one, it's different? Mm -hmm. Maybe it's just different. So, it's uh, 500 times this, how much is this? This year, and you borrow one thousand uh, three three years later, okay. And then you want to know if you actually pay off, okay? You pay to pay back, and then your first year, second year, it will be the same. And how much are you to pay, okay? Or if you are investing, you're doing investment, okay? or actually product. You need to actually invest maybe 500 and uh, 1,000 and you want to know how much I need to get back this year, this year. And uh, to actually not lose money, okay? Or you sell two product and uh, A burn 500 this year. And 1,000 this year, but B will have an equal income in first year and second year. So which product do you want to choose? Or if they're equivalent, okay? And see how much C should be at least. Okay, if C is greater than this, of course we choose B because B value, the B cash value, cash flow, aggregated value is larger. Right? Okay, so so any any question? I'm not sure the number is correct or not. Okay, you can check. So the number is not so big, uh, so important, okay, as long as you know how to calculate. You have the calculation, right? Okay, so last one. Last one is the relatively tricky, okay? And uh, the tricky is not the reasoning tricky. Actually, is the the calculation is tricky. The operation. Okay, I will get this and this into one form. The value, 
to be the same. Okay? And then, what no, as what you consider it will you be different to you be change the uh, uh, indifferent to the with the uh, two pair flow. That means they are equivalent. Okay, they are not different. Okay, so right now we know the value. We know the time. Okay, we said at the beginning I said. We always remember this these four things. Okay? Time try to identify which one is known, which one is unknown. Okay? We are essentially dealing with this symbol, this uh, this formula. Okay? Here we know the value. We know F, we know D, okay? We can calculate, we can, okay? And then we know the A here. But we don't know I. Okay, we don't know I. We want to know I. Okay, so I will follow to be consistent, I will follow here, okay? So the same thing, we need to choose, although it does not matter, we, we actually aggregate these things into one. Which, which point you choose does not matter, okay? As long as you choose the same here, you choose the same here. You cannot see I choose two here, I aggregate all the values to two, but I aggregate all the values to three here. No, this should, this should be not be equal, right? And you need to aggregate all things to two. You need to aggregate all things to two, then they will be equal, okay? Then here, they said the aggregate to three, year three, okay, for A. I have two cash flows, okay? First, I calculate because I want to, I want to know its worth of this at year three. Then, relative to this, its future worth, right? Because, because right now, year three is in the right, in the right side of zero, right? Then it will be 500 or let me use the more detail to three, okay? It will be 500 times one plus i. I don't know i right now, okay? So year three. Okay? And then for the for the second cash flow for the second flow this one thousand so year three it happened already happened year three okay then its value will remain the same one thousand okay then we add them together f zero three plus
Okay, then we add all this one, two, three, plus L, two, two, three, plus two, three, two, three. So then this should be equal this. Okay, then let's see what we can do. Okay, 1200. One plus I three plus one thousand equal to five zero two one plus I square plus five zero two one plus I one power plus five zero two. How many unknowns? How many equipment? How many unknowns? How many equipment? Why? Why unknown? Why equipment? Right? Then, can we solve it? The return we can, right? If we have one, if we have equal number, okay, equal number of unknowns, and equal number, uh, if we have equal unknowns and uh, formulas, the return we should be able to get it, right? But this is a five power equation. Three, two, one. It's not easy to get it, right? Although. Some calculators actually you can use and uh, to solve this, right? And uh, so some calculator maybe have a half cent uh, to do it. But here we have to use file. Actually, your calculator is also doing the same thing, okay? Also requiring actually more quicker than us, okay? But they are actually doing file. Time one, time two, time three. Okay, and uh, here you can try different eyes: seven percent, eight percent, nine percent, and try and uh, to get at the value. Okay, that's uh, the only thing we can do. The risk uh, that is the only thing actually our human beings can do. Okay, when we so trying to solve this thing by using power method. Of course, we can use the linear algebra or some you know advanced method, but they are based on they are based on actually too complex equations. Okay, and uh, then then we just want to tell you this is the reasoning. Okay. So we can use parameter and to get i. And uh, if this one is not working, we try another one. If this one is not working, we try another one. Okay. So we use parameter. And uh, so generally, in future, we we will solve. We will actually, uh, you know, solve i and. Uh, because I is uh, is something we use a lot, okay? And uh, actually, in economics, we have ROI, okay? Return on investment. And uh, actually, we try to solve I. Actually, we use similar method, okay? Okay, so that is. So I want to know after now everything is clear or or you lost. Clear? Yes. So do you want us to do the trial version? Yeah. yeah, for here you don't have to you don't have to worry about what is I, okay? 
and that actually just gives you know when i is six percent and that if it works or not okay so is it always going to be like a whole number percentage yeah uh, usually we just uh you know file the the flow percentage six seven eight we just want to get actually uh Approximate value, okay. And uh, as long as it's quite equal, quite equal, okay, quite equal, then this will be okay. So you don't have to worry about how to calculate it, okay. You don't have to try. You don't have to. Uh, so after now, everything is clear for the content, right? Then we'll go further. Let's go further, okay? Different cash flows. These are four a five, okay? Five patterns, cash flow patterns. And uh, we will use as fundamental type. Okay? So first we have some of this. The first one. We only have one cash flow, okay? We can calculate its future worth, present worth, and any time worth, and uh, also we can compare it to somewhere, to some actual other. Okay. Second, all cash flows are equal. All cash flows are equal. So we have uh, up to now theoretically. If I said right now I is equal to ten percent, if I is equal to ten percent, can you tell me what's the value? What's the present value for this cash flow? What's the what's the present value for this cash flow? How we can do? We have one, two, three, four, five. Four cash flow. We want to know the sum of present value for this cash flow. Just like, just like you, you earn maybe 100, maybe 1 million, okay? 100 million, and uh, every year from, from now on, okay? What's the present value of that money? What's the present value of all this money? Can you do that? So we can aggregate P equal to what? 100, 100 divided by one plus 10% for the first one, right? Then plus 100 divided by percent power the second one right then 100 1 plus 10 percent 3 right the third one then plus 100 divided by 10 percent fourth one plus 100 divided by 10 percent 5 
Yeah. This this number is an empty chain. So if I have six, if I have ten, can you can you can you compare this number one for me? It's not interesting, okay? It's too complex. It's too actually is just the number is you know one, two, three, four, five, right? And we want to derive something is simple, okay? We want to actually use one formula and to actually get all these things, okay? Then second one, same thing, okay? Our uh, third one, to zero, nothing. One year, that's the 50, 50 plus D, 50 plus 2D, 50 plus 3D, 50 plus 4D. Compared to the previous one, the difference is D. We call it actually gradient, right? This is linear gradient series. I think you can learn this in your high school, right? You can learn this, this, this series, right? So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, right? And uh, then we have formulas how to aggregate them together, right? We all use that, okay? Geometric gradient series. This in future, this will be the founder. The first two, the first four will be the fundamental cash flows we work on. Okay. Sometimes we add them together. Sometimes we add all three together. Okay, and uh, so, but the fundamental is the same, okay? Uh, only sometimes we want to get simple care flows. A simple actually, simple uh, formula, okay? So let's see, before that, we want to introduce a new symbol. Previously, we used F, D, one plus I, n power to get to get F if P is known. F is equal to P times one plus I, n power. Okay, so every time we write this y plus i n power is quite is quite time constant okay we use a new symbol to represent equal to p1 plus i n power f equal to p times this this is a coefficient this is equal to this okay this the whole one the whole thing in bracket in this small bracket is one coefficient okay is equal to this is equal its value is equal to this. Or we say this is a symbol, or this is a simplified symbol to represent this. The meaning, okay? The meaning is we know P. 
We know R, we know A. We want to know F. We know P, we know R, we know A. We want to get F. Then we can P, we get F. Okay? This is more like a digital, okay? Because we will use a cable, we will use actually I have uploaded a cable on your blackboard, okay? It's quite long, okay? And at the top. So these are actually the cable in future you will use. Okay? So each column, each column will be representing actually something like this. Okay. Okay, if I know P, if I know F, I want to get P. It will be equal to F times P. F I A. So if I know F, I want to get P. P will be equal to F times F I A. They are different, okay? These two symbols are different. Y F is left, Y F is right, okay? Let's see, this one is different from this one. We have different meanings. This means we know F, we know I, we know A, we want to get P. Okay? This is the same thing. Okay, actually this is what? P, F, I, A, that will be equal to what? Y, I, next to A. Right, because F actually is Y plus I next to A. So this equal to this, F is the same. So this part has to be equal to this. This actually will be this. Okay, so the reason is very simple. We want to use this symbol to replace this. Because every time we calculate this is too time consuming, okay? We can use table values to get this. Okay? And then, then it will be simple, okay? P, 2000, I, N years, 2000, F, P, 10%, 8 years. Let's see how to use this, okay? Here is, we know P, we know I, we know A, we want to get F, Actually, this will be the symbol, okay? F, P, 10%, I, 10%, A, okay? Then, F, P, okay? The first column, the first column we will use. We know P, we know I, we know A, we want to get F, okay? I is, here is, I is 10%. So in each case, you will see here is I. Here is I. This I is 0.5%. So we look for 10%, okay? This is 0.5. This is 0.75. This is 1%. We do forward, forward, okay? Then go to, let's see. Can find a ten percent or not? Okay. Seven, eight, nine, ten percent here. Okay, we come here ten percent, and uh, so the years A is eight. 
Okay? A equals to A. Here is A, okay? Here A, here. Okay, the value is 2 cos lambda four. 2 cos lambda four. okay? So this one. If we use our previous method, F will be 2,051 plus 10% each year. So you can use your calculator how much? 1.18. Power is 8. How much? So if we use this, use the table value, okay? F is equal to 2,000 times F is 10%. Okay? As we just get 2,000 times 2 cos 1 for 4. Right? 2 cos 1 for 4 is from here. Is four two eight eight. Okay, so this is the table, the use of this table. Okay, so right now we use F. We we no you want to get F. Okay, we use the first column. You can also use your Excel to do that, okay? And uh, it does not matter, uh, but this table you can uh, convenient to use, okay? So, if we want, if we know F, if we know F, we want to get a P. So we know F 1,000, we know I 12%, we know A is 5 years, we want to get a P. So 1,000, 1 plus 12%, next to 5, press, and then you go to 1,000, P, we want to get a P, we know F, we know 12%, we know 5. Let's go to go to the table. First, we need to go to 12% page. Page 12%. Okay? Then, we need five years. 12%. Five years. Okay? And then we want to get to the present value. How much? How much? So, Here is P equal to 1,000, 1, 0, 12, next to 5. You can, of course, you can use the calculator to calculate this, but we can use as the table value, okay? P, F, 12 percent, 5 years. So, from this table, how much is that? Can you, can you see it clearly? How much? The first one? Uh, the second one? Yeah. So it should be this, right? So we know F, we want to get a P. Okay? We know F, we want to get a P. 12 percent. Five years. You go to file, and the second column. We know F, we want to get a P. Okay? And 
Martino de Sancale, street politics, is to be the Senate constituency that she went to she wanted by the same person. If we use the same process, it will need 7.2 years. If the interest rate is 8%, it will need 9 years to double, double your wealth. Just like if you establish a goal, I want to get my actually money to be doubled. Uh, actually, I know this, the interest rate for this product is maybe 4%. Okay, it will need 16 years. You if you want to use 72 divided by that rate. This is a empirical formula, okay? This is some formula is just like approximation, okay? You will see this is approximation symbol. It's not a scientific formula, it's just a empirical experience. Okay, and uh, so we are actually seeing EFRA. We introduce this new, new actually symbol. Okay, so then let's go back. So I want to start the derivation of a formula for, for the second part. C F A I A. We introduce a new thing, A, okay? Second, the second model, zero, one, two, three, four, How much is F? So the total F, okay, all the total value, and add them together. So how much it will be? So it will be equal to. Plus, so at the end here, 
remember this is the what this is uh, a a1 plus i a1 plus i squared a1 plus i a minus 3 a minus 2 a minus 1 this is a geometric graded series right This compared to this, what's the ratio? This compared to this, what's the ratio? One is this over this is one plus r. This over this is one plus r, right? This over this is one plus r. That means the ratio is like two, four, eight, sixteen. The ratio this over this is two. This over this is two. This over this is two. You remember how to capture this? <laughs> there is a formula, right? Any anybody remember it? One plus two plus four plus eight plus sixteen plus thirty two. How much is it? A 
take this as f. Then, how much is 2f? 2 plus 4 plus 8 plus 32 plus 64. Then, you use this, minus this, equal to f. f is equal to how much? Cancel all these things. Cancel all these things. Just this and this. Right? And actually is 63 divided by what? 2. How much? Same thing here. Okay, if this is F, F is all this together. If I, one plus I, F, two sides. One plus I times F, left side. One plus I times right side. The first one becomes A plus one plus I, First one becomes this, right? Then a plus one plus i two. Then this becomes three, and then this becomes what? Becomes a a one plus i n power. Then I use this minus this left side. This minus this will be equal to Rf. And this side minus this side, all the things will be gone. This, 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 two here will be gone. Here, 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 no. Not anywhere. Okay? Not anywhere. Here is just A. Okay? Then X is equal to 1 plus I n power minus A. Then, this minus this, how much? Rf equal to Rf. Then, Rf actually is equal to this. So we cancel all things, okay? Eventually, we get F equal to this A. That means, if we have this A, Okay, window A, window I, you will begin to get F. Okay, so this will be a simple formula for this model. But remember, if you put a new A here, it does not work. Okay, this formula will not work anymore. You need to consider that A separate. Okay. Okay. So uh, next time we will continue to discuss it. Okay. And. Uh